By the way, there are cases of 60 year olds having kids. Wow. Anyway, let's get to the story right quick, y'all. Says rapper the brat says she and her wife chose a white sperm donor because the only black donor presented to them looked like Jiminy Cricket. Like black man makeup, like zero point squat diddly shit compared to white donors. You get what I mean? And when you look at that, it kind of makes you think about like, well, damn. You know, I don't, I, don't, I don't try to get into the abortion and shit, but like, like it's crazy how you see this. Like, I might have to go and donate my sperm. I might have to go donate some. Y'all need some. Uh, uh I want to let y'all know that we found our sperm donor, and it's a group on Facebook. It's called Black Sperm Donors, but it's an amazing group. Definitely, if you are trying to conceive, check them out. I recommend them 100. percent Look, I go your boy Biz. So look, so if you want those features. My, you know what I mean? I'm gonna have, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be at the donor bank. Y'all could come by the donor bank and pick up some, you know, pick up that A1. I'm a musician. I'm a entrepreneur. I'm a head steady person, and I know how to cook. I mean, I'm just like the all, like the all American great guy. You know what I mean? So, you you, you having seeds by this guy? You see that picture right there? You see that guy right there? Yeah. Mixed children are not fucking accessories. They're not a Michael Kors bag. They're not a pair of fucking Jimmy Choo's. Like, they're not an accessory for you to make you look more trendy or cool. It's really disgusting to me how white women fetishize mixed babies to where black male sperm donations are gone within minutes. Ladies, if you need that A11. So y'all was just waiting at the door for a nigga to jizz in a cup, right? Yeah. So sick, and I think it's even sicker that society lets y'all do this shit. Yeah, that's, that's what happens when you let white women keep black sperm and raise black babies, and they don't know shit about the culture or the history or none of that shit. Then you got motherfuckers out here with identity crisis who hate themselves. I don't want to say stick to your own race because that sounds bad, but like let black women have black children. Just, just let them, just let them do it. Just, just let them do it. Thank you, Becky. Thank you. It would be so awesome. It would be so cool. Okay, so if you're black and you're queer and you plan on having babies. So you know how there's like a shortage of black sperm donors, which is why a lot of black queer couples end up with like mixed babies. This is very true. When me and my wife started having kids, there was no black donors. We really wanted kids, so we took the leap of faith. And you'll see people be like, oh, you know, join the Facebook groups and stuff like that, right? I've been in some groups for the past, probably like two years now, right? And there's just one part of this that just doesn't sit right with me. A lot of times when people join the group and they're like actively looking for a donor, they'll make a little post that says like, hey guys, me and my wife have been together for blah, blah, blah. And we do blah, blah, blah. We're located in the whatever, whatever area and we're looking for a donor. Like the whole idea of like, it's too close to begging. It's too close to begging for me. It just be given like, let me go beg a nigga for a baby. Like, oh so, yeah, from a black lesbian that wants to have black ass babies. Can y'all just start like going to sperm banks or finding other ways to do this? Like we can come up with something. We really do because ugh, 